Okay. This question is again from 2017 gate of power electronics of morning session. It says a three phase voltage source inverter is supplied from a 600 volt DC source as shown in the figure below. Okay, there is a figure which is given in the question and it says that for a star connected resistive load of 20 ohms per phase, the load power for 120 degree device conduction in kilowatt is. So what they have done is, they have given a three phase VSI inverter, voltage source inverter. So we know how a VSI looks like. So VSI will be I'm just drawing the switches as a conventional way. Okay. So this is something which is given in the question. These are the three points. And now this is connected to a load star connected load of 20 ohms per phase. Say so I have connected them in this. Now each of them is 20 ohms. Okay. Now what is asked in the question is, perhaps what is given is the value of this DC source is 600 volts. Okay. And what else is given? It is said that it is operated at 120 degree conduction mode. Okay. This is also given. And what else is given? Okay. So they are asking us to find out what is the output power or the load power in kilowatt. So load power in kilowatt. Now this is important, we have to see what is the unit here. It's in kilowatt. Okay. So now let us calculate and if we see the, if we try to find out the waveform that will come out. Okay. The waveform will be, output waveform will be, since it is a 120 degree conduction, it will be something like that. It is. 300 it will be minus 300 this will be 120 degree this will be 180 degree similarly it will go on and for this if we try to find out the output RMS value V RMS okay so V RMS per phase value if you see this is a phase diagram okay this is a phase waveform output phase waveform so if we calculate the RMS value for this it will be 300 into root 2 by 3 just by looking at the diagram we can say that or the waveform we can say that so by after calculation it will be 244.94 volts per phase okay so if this is per phase value the output power we know since it is resistive load I can say that the total output power will be three times of V RMS per phase whole square by R per phase. Now we know the value of R per phase we know the value of output voltage RMS voltage per phase and we will put these values and calculate we will find it at 9000 watt. Now you see the answer we should give in kilowatt. So we have to give the answer as 9 kilowatt. So the answer will be 9. If we put the answer as 9000, it will be wrong. Okay. So the answer will be 9. 